YouTube, I am back in the hospital for my second round of chemotherapy. Doing the, what is it, the pace drip. And I can't remember what, leave down in the comments below what it's called, the red, red devil, red dragon. I can't remember what you, what people call that, that bag up there of the chemotherapy drip. It has a certain name. I forget what it was. Um, back in here, got a bigger room this time. If you can see, I mean, I didn't have a couch last time. Three windows instead of two. I have a little better view instead of looking at a, just a big, tall building, another part of the hospital. Um, mini fridge, which is nice. A lot more room to where I can actually just walk around in here and get up. I have more room just to walk around and get off my, get out of bed and move around some. My back has been feeling a little better. It's still sore. Obviously, I still take my morphine and my Norco. Not as often. I'm not taking it like every three hours. I can, like right now, I think it's been five or six hours since my last one. So I'm usually going six, seven hours before I have to take another painkiller. And like last time when I was in the hospital, I barely got out of the bed. Like I stayed in the bed almost the entire time where today I've been getting up. I went over and sat on the couch for a while, sat in the chair for a while, um, used the restroom. So, because last time it, it really hurt to get out of bed, where now it doesn't hurt as bad. So obviously it seems like the chemotherapy is helping with those tumors that are in my back that are by the spine and stuff. Maybe it's breaking them down a little bit so it's not as painful. So I just got in here uh, today at 10 o'clock. It's 8 p.m. I wanted to shoot this video now before this all these chemicals and you know the chemotherapy set in and I start feeling sick and uh, have no energy or anything to shoot a video. So in here now, like I said, a bigger room. I haven't heard exactly how many days I'm here. I know it was just to do this, uh, the, the drip for four days. So whether I go, so that would be Friday, today's Tuesday. Yeah, Friday, I'd be done with that drip. So whether or not I'll be able to go home Friday or maybe Saturday. So I'm thinking Friday or Saturday, I'm out of here. So four or five days, hopefully. But I'll update you if that changes or anything. Um, got my glasses on because the room is a little bigger. So the TV's farther away. And I've noticed my vision. You know, I, I wear glasses anyways for stuff that's far away. But I've been noticing lately that my vision is getting blurrier. So, and I don't know if that's from the chemotherapy. So I have to wear it to watch TV. Otherwise everything's super blurry and I wouldn't be able to read any of the words on the TV. So I got my glasses on this time. Uh, trying to think, is anything else new going on? I don't think so. Yeah, that's about it. Other than, gosh, obviously the hair is cut, the beard is gone. I look like death. Like, ugh, I hate it. I look horrible. Anyway, so that's where we're at now. Back in here for second round of chemotherapy. Second of three or four. They haven't... Obviously, they'll see how I uh, do on this one to figure out, you know, do I need a third? Obviously, more than likely a third, but will I need that fourth one? And then I'm also, after that, doing... Um, it's, I get, I have so many things set up, so many doctors and stuff calling me, I forget half the time what everything is. Um, is it, I don't know if it's stem cell transplant or bone marrow transplant. It's one of the two where I, I got to come back in and I'm assuming it's going to be this summer. They're going to wait till after all my chemo is done. And that'll be three or four weeks in the hospital. It'll be a different hospital than this one. So that's gonna suck, so three or four weeks, and I think I'm pretty much in isolation during that time where I won't be able to have visitors because they're going to, I guess, like they run my blood through a machine, like take it out and remove stuff from it, and then they inject, put it back in me. So I guess at that point, I'm really uh, at a point where I could get uh, infections or germs or diseases from other people. So that's why I got to be in like isolation and it's going to be three to four weeks. So that is going to suck. And I have a feeling and it, they want to do it right after the chemo. So if April 
end of April will be my third, end of May will be my fourth chemo thing. So it could be June or July, I'm guessing, which is going to suck a whole month of the summer that I would be stuck inside a hospital. But as I get more information on that, I will let you know on that too. So there you go back in here. I'll probably hopefully do another update while I'm here on the second round of chemo. I'll let you know, like I said, if I do another update, how I'm feeling, if, if the second one, how it affects me. I don't think I should feel too much while I'm here. Maybe I'll lose my appetite and start losing some weight, but it's usually the week after is where all the nausea, uh, nausea and I start feeling sick and want to throw up and stuff. So that'll be next week when I'm home when I probably will feel like crap. But there you go. And again, thank you for everyone that's commented. Thank you for everyone that's subscribed. All of you who have done super chats. I love, I love you all. Thank you. Thank you so much. It means a, a ton to me. And like I said, I'll keep you updated. And I will talk to you guys very soon. Have a good day.